Welcome to Modi Makes. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi. This is Modi Makes, and today I got another commission for a bleach painted hoodie. There's just one problem with this one. It's basically the same commission I got for the last one. Well, the last one wasn't really a commission because it was actually a gift from my girlfriend, but I got the same idea in for this commission that she wanted for that hoodie, and that is another Seattle themed hoodie. I guess. People in town here just really love to have their Seattle themed stuff. They just really love to rep the town, which I do love to see, so I guess I can't complain too much. But that does mean that I have to come up with another design for a Seattle themed bleach painted hoodie, which might be a little bit tricky, but you know, we'll make it work. We always have to make it work. That is our job as creatives. So there's no time for me to waste. I gotta figure this one out. After completing my sketch, the first thing that I need to do is transfer that sketch over onto the the hoodie using chalk pencils. I find that the easiest way to do this when I have a complicated design as I usually do is to start by making a grid pattern on the back of the hoodie for the larger design because the sleeve design and the front design I can usually just freehand as they're not as complicated and I don't have to worry as much about getting the proportions just right to the sketch that I made. I find that the best way to use the chalk pencils that I use and actually get good lines transferred onto the hoodie is by continuously dipping them into water. I find that the water makes it so that you get a much more opaque line versus when you just rub it on dry. The only problem with doing this is you run through your chalk extremely quickly and whenever you're going back to sharpen it, the whole pencil is weakened from being dipped into water and you end up breaking the tip over and over and over again. It is super frustrating, trust me. Fuck. <sighs> But after you get the grid drawn on there, you're gonna wanna take a picture of that grid that you drew, and then I use Procreate for this, but I'm sure there's tons of different ways that you can do it. You wanna take that grid and then overlay your digital sketch onto it so that you can transfer it over as accurately as possible. Then it's just a matter of looking where the lines on your sketch line up with the grid lines, which is why you don't really have to worry about the grid being perfect, the squares don't have to be the same size, the lines don't even have to be straight, they're just reference lines for you to use. And since you have the same lines in your picture that you're lining your sketch up with as you do on the hoodie as long as you follow those lines it'll be accurate since this sketch is meant to be a Seattle themed image I of course had to have the Space Needle in there but to make this one different from the last Seattle themed hoodie that I made I wanted this Space Needle to be combined with a lighthouse and be shining a bright beam of light off of this rocky outcrop because one of the other things that I was asked to do for this commission is to combine the Seattle theme with a mountain theme. So I thought that the rocky outcrop could help combine that with some mountains that I'm going to be adding in as well. And it gives me a nice light beam that I can play with some light and shadow in these cloud areas because the third request was that they wanted it to have rain and rain clouds as that is one of the iconic parts about the rain city. But as always I have to add in my wildflowers because that's just a motif that I love to use in everything I do and I have to add in some evergreen trees as well because you know, it's the Emerald City, it's the Rain City, it's the SEA, it's all of these three things. So I felt like having all three of those motifs really solidified that idea of it being a Seattle themed design. And then as always for the front chest design, I like to take one of the elements from the back design and embellish it a little bit in order to have it be, you know, thematically connected with the overall design. Since the back design is the main design and it's the main focus of the entire thing. So I went with the same evergreen tree design from the back, though squashed down a little bit and made a little more squirt. And then I added this big circle right behind it to kind of act like a sun or a moon. I just thought it was a nice graphic element, but when I was creating it, it was kind of the idea of it being like a rising sun coming up behind the evergreen tree there. And then for the sleeve design, you know I always have to go with my heart logo and the X as it pertains to a streetwear brand collaboration and then add another motif that is either relevant to the overall design on the back or is another element from the design. And I wanted to take that wave pattern that I have from the bottom left crashing up against the rocky outcrop that the 
lighthouse is standing on, but change it a little bit to make it fit into the size constraints of the sleeve a little bit better. After you get all of your sketches all lined up nice on your hoodie, it's time to get your bleach out, pour some in, in my case, a little old blank CD container that I had lying around that I'm sure I've had for over 15 years at this point, because I don't know the last time I burned a CD, and then get to doing the actual bleach painting process. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Well, there you have it, my peoples. My second Seattle-themed hoodie design is complete, and I'm very happy with how this one turned out. I like the graphic elements that I chose for this one. I'm really happy about the lighthouse design with the Space Needle. I'm also extremely happy with the light beam going out and playing with the light and the dark and the negative and positive with those rain clouds on the side. I think that's a really nice element to add to it. And I think the piece just flows really well. There's a very sharp central vertical spire element being that space needle lighthouse with more flowing and organic elements kind of leading up to it and framing around it, which I think just has nice compositional flow. But let me know what you guys thought of the piece down in the comments below. And let me know if you have any questions about this video or any other video I've made. I'd be happy to look through them all and answer them personally as I always do. And you know, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. That would be fantastic. And if you like me, you like the channel and you want to help support me, the number one thing that you can do is just <laughs> the number one thing that you can do is to subscribe. I really couldn't thank you enough if you did. It means the world to me. With all that out of the way, and without further ado, let's get in those final shots, shall we?
Thanks for watching.